Hi Stampers! Purple Lizard here. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I thought maybe some of you might be sitting home, bored, and maybe you have, like, hordes of toilet paper. So I thought maybe we could do a craft with some toilet paper. Does that sound like fun? So I got out a couple of embossing folders here. You're going to need some embossing folders to do this. Got out a couple of embossing folders and you're going to need some something that could spray some fine mist. Not these these are just some off-brand misters a friend of mine Crystal gave me. Hi Crystal. Um these spray out a nice fine mist. This one sprays out more like in big blotchy glops. You don't want something like that. You just want a fine mist, water mister. And of course you'll need your big shot or whatever machine it is that you're using. And some toilet paper. We won't use a lot of toilet paper, so you know if you didn't get in on the toilet paper buy, then we won't use much of your toilet paper. This is just one of the standard in embossing folders. It's a pretty thin one. Uh, it's called Swirls and Curls. I think it's been discontinued, but it's one of my favorite ever for some reason. So we're just going to tear off a little square of toilet paper and put it on the embossing folder. And I'm putting it on the back. So like this is the front and this is the back. Um, and I'm going to put it to where it's covering the whole folder. I'm going to put one here in the middle, too. There we go. And then get the mister, the water mister, and spray some water on it. Just a little, not a lot. Just get it a little wet. And then close it. And... We'll bring our machine over here real quick run this through the machine since this is a standard like folder you need both top and bottom plate and it should just run through real easily toilet paper is nice and thin right and let's see what we got Ta-da! Isn't it pretty? So it took on the image really well, didn't it? And it's sort of like really delicate, but then it's not. I mean, it's still, it's harder than toilet paper now. I mean, I suppose you could still use it as toilet paper <laughs> if you need to. Okay, so that was just the standard embossing folder. Let's do one. This is the tin dynamic embossing folder. Let's do this one. And so this is the front of the folder here. Ooh, you know what would be kind of neat is if we put let's let's put some ink on it. That would be neat. I have some coastal cabana right here. And Let's just, should I just, yeah, let's just do that. I'm just going to wipe it on here. Just a little bit here and there. Just a touch, right? Oh, yeah. And then let's put the toilet paper on. Now, this one's going to take a little more toilet paper. Let's make sure that we're inside the, the frame here. This one's going to take a little bit more toilet paper than the other one. So, I normally, on Fridays, I go to a card club with a group of ladies. We've been meeting for about 10 years now. We haven't got to meet for the last two Fridays. I don't think I've ever gone this long without seeing them. We're not going to meet again until, like, the end of April now. So, I'm going to stagger that little perforated line there. So, like that they're not laying right on top of each other. And I'm gonna cover up the whole folder here with these two, but I'm gonna put another one right here in the middle. 
But so yeah, I'm not gonna get to see my Pink Daisy Card Club ladies until like the end of April. I thought maybe we could hang out together on YouTube and make cards. So shout out to all my Pink Lady, Pink Daisy ladies. I miss you and I hope you're all doing well. So for this one, I think I am. I'm still gonna spray this, not here. I'm gonna spray here. I'm gonna mist it. Here I go with my mister. Move that back up there. I'm gonna mist this toilet paper real good because now I've got some ink up there I want to get on the toilet paper. This should be interesting. I'm gonna close it down. And this is a textured dynamic folder. So basically you need your bottom plate and ooh. And this isn't gonna fit through here, so we need to trim off the end there. I'm gonna just use some scissors and it doesn't have to be pretty because we can trim this up. after it dries up. So stick your folder on your bottom plate here. And I'm gonna run it through. Well, I have it on the wrong side there, but that's fine. I'm not a lefty, I'm a righty. There we go. Ooh, and let's see what we got. And this is inked embossed toilet paper isn't that pretty Ooh, well i'm gonna put that aside nice let it dry some more before we mess with it Ooh, that was fun sorry i smacked the light and now i'll wash that folder off later because you don't want to come along to it the next time you're embossing something and have Coastal Cabana all over it, do we? So, I also have another folder here. What else do we have? We have, oh, this is in the, um, the new catalog. It's the Parisian Flourish 3D folder. This is pretty. Should I, or shouldn't I? I should. We got, that was fun. I'm going to put a little bit of ink on this one, too. Because that looked really neat. So, we have our crushed curry here. And I did like how that was, but I kind of like something a little more random than that. How about if I get a sponge? Give me a second. I'm going to find a sponge here somewhere. Lots of sponges with, and the yellow ones are at the end, it seems like. Ah, we'll use that one. There we go. Let's just sponge a little bit on. Nothing so um, uniformed as what we did last time. Ooh, there we go. Yep, that's enough right there. This should be pretty. Now we need to pull out some toilet paper and put toilet paper on it again. So I like the staggered look there because then you can actually see at the end that it's really thin toilet paper, not just white paper. It, it, um, it has a soft feel to it even after it's been embossed. Okay, got my toilet paper down. Oop, I need to spray it with a little bit of water. Missed it. Gonna missed it. We have our crushed curry on this one. Gonna miss some water on the toilet paper. Make sure it's all inside that frame. There. And I'll get some scissors and trim it up. Ooh, this might be funny. Yellow toilet paper. I don't know. This might not be good. We'll have to see. This is like, somebody might be like, um, so it's toilet paper and it's yellow. Hmm. 
the blue might be a better idea than the yellow. Okay, here's this one. It's making me laugh. And this is like yellow snow. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Okay. Got our machine again. This is a 3D folder, so you need the 3D plate. And we'll get it on our base with the plate. And here I put it on the left side again. It's fine. And it should really just go through really easily if you are using the proper plates. Okay. Let's put this out of the way. Okay, so I am just doing this video on the fly. Uh, this might be, we might not get to use this one. We're gonna see. I'm gonna wipe up some of that water. Okay. This is the crushed curry one on toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, I guess, but we're going to have to see. We'll have to let it dry and see what we think about it. So while those are drying, I need to make some labels for these cards. I'm going to make two cards. One's going to be crushed curry and one's going to be in Coastal Cabana. So here's some crushed curry. I want to use a sentiment from the new peaceful, sorry, peaceful moments clean stamp set. This one is in the, the new catalog. Um, the sentiment I chose was these are the moments we'll look back on with joy. And I hope that we do look back on these moments and think how awesome America is and that our neighbors are there for each other and our friends. And hopefully we don't look back on these times with anything other than joy that we all made it through it. So I'm going to emboss this in white. So I put my embossing buddy down. And I use some Versamark ink to stamp it with. I like stamping up white. Well, I like all of their embossing powders. Especially for words. Because it's really fine. You're not going to use Stampin' Up! for words. Find something that's really fine. Because it definitely works best with the words where they don't become blurred. Now, <clears throat> I should have had my gun going. In order for something to emboss well, you need to work with a hot heat gun. If you use your heat gun now while it's heating up it will warp your paper some papers it will change the colors of it um if you're using vellum you really need to make sure your gun is hot because the less time you spend pointing your gun at the paper the better um it's better if you just hit the back of it really quick and then go to the front and just in slow sweeping motions it should heat it should emboss just like that you shouldn't have to sit and do all this because that's too much time spent pointed at your paper okay it's probably hot now it's getting hot and i'm gonna hit the back of my paper real quick get it hot and then come around to the front and it should right away just start heating up and melting your embossing powder. It shouldn't take but a few seconds to be pointed at it. There we go. Ta-da! 
it's very perfect because their embossing powder is always perfect. Okay, so this toilet paper should be dry now. My surface is good and dry. I'm gonna, since we're done really with all the water and heat, I'm gonna put down some paper now. Um, here's the yellow one. I don't know if I love it or not. And here's the, I do like this one. And this one's still very interesting. I'm going to trim them up. And now since they are toilet paper, they're still very delicate. So I don't think a trimmer like that will work. You're going to have to use a guillotine trimmer to cut these. I think this is really kind of hilarious that this is yellow, actually. I'm going to cut this down, and I kind of want this to be in the middle. I'm going to cut this down to be like four by five and a quarter-ish. Like, it's still a tiny bit damp, too. I guess I could have heated it up. Okay, so I'm going to go... Four. Yep, it cut it. And we'll cut a little off the end too. I don't know if I'm going to be happy with this yellow one or not. It's making me laugh. I mean, <laughs> if you sent somebody a card. And you're like, it's toilet paper. I mean, is it funnier that it's yellow? Or does it need to be, like, white? Okay, we're going to choose between one of these two. I'm going to trim this one up a little bit more. We'll make it be, you know, like, about, I think it's already four and a quarter, or four across. We'll have to see. Maybe too big. And by about five and a quarter. There we go. And yeah, the end needs to be trimmed up. We'll see if it if this really works. For the end. Yes, it did. It trimmed it. Even though it was such a little tiny piece, it trimmed it. So I hope all my ladies from my card club are doing good. Thought maybe we could get together and make some cards on video every once in a while. And even if it's out of toilet paper. Okay. I have some crushed curry in a card base ready already. Got my card scored here. What do you think? Do I go? with the yellow toilet paper and say on the inside that this is toilet paper. Is that funny that it's yellow? <laughs> or do I go with the white? I mean, at least here you can see what I'm talking about, how it has like these three different colors here, like that you can see that it is toilet paper. I actually think that's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna do the yellow toilet paper because I think it's hilarious. I should do a brown one. <laughs> okay. I'm, my sentiment is dry now. I'm going to use the Label Me Lovely Punch and punch out my sentiment. I need to trim up my paper so I can get it in there. Not too much. This is a big label. There we go. It's pretty center. And, oh, this is kind of cute. <laughs> yep, we're doing it. We're doing yellow. And I went ahead and tied a bow already with um, the crinkled seam binding ribbon. I like this ribbon. I, I like the seam binding ribbon. This is the crushed curry. Um, and so now to 
glue down this toilet paper. I don't think I'll be able to go straight on the back of it. Let's see. We could use this part. No, let's don't. I think it will show through. We're gonna have to use a tape runner. And I don't have one out. All right, we're going with glue. We're going for it with glue. I'm a rebel. I think the glue's gonna show through. Not here in the middle, but on the end there, I think it'll show. We'll have to see, this is an experiment. It's an experiment with yellow toilet paper. I mean, you'd have to be pretty bored. Oh wait, everybody is pretty bored. Okay, I'm gonna go with it right here like this. Oh look, it just did stick and didn't show through. Cool, there's a little Okay, I think I should use some pop dots for that one. Some pop dots. Some dimensionals. I haven't thought of pop dots in years. Some dimensionals for uh, the back of this. And I really want to put it over that blotchy part for some reason. Then you can still kind of... Yeah, right there. Okay. Put some dimensionals on the back of it. So this is my... Toilet paper card tutorial for all those people who bought gobs and gobs of toilet paper during these times of, these strange times. Hopefully everyone is doing good and their families are all doing good. All right, we wanna make sure we put this on straight because this is gonna be something that you cannot pull up again. Um, this is not gonna be forgiving like paper, so should we put it right here? That's what I'm thinking, right? Right here, ta-da, boom. Okay, and we need some glue dots for the bow. There we go. Lovely. Cut some glue dots for the bow. And again, ooh, I kind of got it in a weird place. It's only going to stick once. So what do you think? Right there? I think right there. Yep. There we go. I might trim that up a little. It seems a little long. Yep. Okay, so I definitely think if I send this card to somebody, I have to tell them that, oh, BTW, by the way, that's toilet paper. I was sitting at home with lots of toilet paper. No, I actually didn't run to the store and buy lots of toilet paper. I actually always have lots of toilet paper. Okay, so... We had another one that we did with this Coastal Cabana, and I really actually, I don't know that I like it that much. I kind of like the other one better. Um, oh, this one. I like this one better. Where's, I have some paper. Here it is, Coastal Cabana. Here at the Coastal Cabana. See how cool that is? That you can sort of see all, like, it's monochromatic, like. <laughs> it's the little things that excite me. So, let's do some ribbon. We should have already done it and had it sitting there drying. Because this can take a second. I want some nice, soft ribbon. For this and I don't have 
this color in Coastal Cabana. So we're going to make it in Coastal Cabana. Got my little trusty sponge and my white polka dot twill ribbon and some Coastal Cabana ink. And we're just going to rub it on here. And it changes this white ribbon into Coastal Cabana ribbon. And I probably need a good, to, in order to make a bow, I probably need this much. There we go. So yeah, it's raining out today. It's ugly outside. And I thought, well, what a perfect day to make a video. And I should make some videos and mail out some cards. Still keep in touch with everybody. There we go. So just a little hint there of the Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to go ahead and tie it first and make sure that I do have enough. So I like to leave it on my spool and do bunny ears. We call this the Cory bow because Cory taught us all this bow. So you just put your bunny ears together and flip one through and it's best to try to keep everything like as flat as possible as you're doing this so try and keep your ribbon flat especially before you cinch it down and it seems to work best that way there you go and you just have a bow and you can mess around with it and make it all perfect if you want I wanted to make sure that I had enough of it. It's sticking to my shirt. Enough of it that I could had a tail there. Yep. A little more on the back, maybe. And that's what these little silicone pads are good for. They're good for lots of stuff, but that's one thing they're good for is Inking up ribbon like that. Okay, we're just going to toss that out of the way. Boop. And the reason I said we should have done this and let it be drying is because it's still going to be wet for a little while. And which means that it'll get on my fingers so I could get it all over the card. So, be careful with it if you're inking it up and going to use it right away because it's going to be wet. Okay, so the gluing thing seemed like it worked fine, didn't it? Let's just glue this one too. I have my piece of uh, Coastal Cabana here with the, I've already got, use my score and my cutter and scored it at four and a quarter. Okay, let's put some glue, just a little on the back of this thing, along the edges so that it will stick nice. Maybe a little in the middle. Ooh, that's gonna be too much. There we go. And ooh, that seems like a lot there too. There we go going to stick it down on my coastal cabana here and you're only getting one shot at this again this is toilet paper not oops sorry I moved my camera we're not getting too many shots at this there we go it has a little I don't know I didn't cut it very good right there uh oh oh no drama there we go. It's really delicate. I don't know any other way to say it. it's delicate. Okay, I have 
another one of these done already. I'm going to put it in my punch and again trim a little bit of it off. Put it in my punch here. There we go. In the middle. Boop. And I don't know. Do I want it here? I did like it out of the way like that. And then like this. Yep. So this one's cute too. It's really it's I don't know if you can tell from the the video or not. But it is like more delicate than white paper. Um because you can see through it. Like vellum type thing. I think it's kind of funny that it's toilet paper. Um during this toilet paper time. Oops. I, the dimensionals are not cooperating. I'm having dimensional drama right now. Okay. What? There it goes. I'm going to make sure again and stick this on right where I want it because we're not getting another shot at it. I liked it up here. I don't want to cover up too much of that because I like how it shows all the different layers of color. Since this bow is wet, like I said, it I may not be able to even get a glue dot to stick to it right now. Nope. It's not wanting to stick. Let me, I'll put it there. No, but it's not gonna stay. It won't even stick. Because the bow is wet, the glue dot doesn't wanna stick to it. And that's kinda what I thought it would do. Let's see, I have these little pieces of toilet paper sitting here to the side. Can I make the back dry up enough? Let's see if that helped. Not really. All right, so we're just gonna set this bow about here-ish. There's one glue dot on it, and well, that'll have to do. Ta-da! It's cute. My toilet paper cards. Let's see, where's a bone folder? Here we go. Let's do this one too. Ta-da! So this is our yellow one that I just think is hilarious. And here's one done in with Coastal Cabana. And this was crushed curry, by the way. And so... There you go. So I hope that everyone is doing well and know how much I love all my friends and everybody stay safe.